This to it skill is in Notebook on Property tab and focuses on line style and text style. Line style allows you to change how wide the line is, the color, and other attributes. And the text style allows you to change the font, the color, and other attributes as well. Both of these allow you to display your information with a lot of different changes. So let's see how we can do this. There's two ways that you can draw a line. One is using the line tool and the other is with the pen on the pen tray. So I'm going to pick up the pen and just draw a nice wavy line. And I'll put the pen back down and draw another line using the line tool. There's a variety that I can choose from. I'm just going to start off with a basic one. And so I'll just draw a straight line across. I'll use the arrow select. And um, now I'm going to go into the property tab and I'm going to select the first line up here. So I have line style chosen as one of my options and I have color. So I can change the color from blue to green to yellow to anything else that I would like. Um, I can also choose more colors which is what I want to do for just a moment right now. Now you notice that there's a variety of different ways that I can choose colors. Right now I have yellow up here and as I move it around the color wheel, it changes the color not only up in here in the preview, but also on the actual line itself. I can change how bright and how dark the line is by selecting the slider up here. I can also choose the slider scales by either choosing the grayscale slider, the RGB for red, green, and blue sliders, I can go to the CMYK sliders and I can change based on those color sliders and also the HSB for hue, saturation, and brightness. I also have color palettes both in the Apple and the developer for the web developer in crayons with a variety of uh, colored names for the crayons and also for web safe colors and if you have created a website or have seen the colors for the names of um, each of the colors, you'll recognize these also. There is also the image spectrum, which allows you, again, just to look at the different colors and to choose either from all the way white to all the way black and all the colors in between as you go through. And finally, there is the um, regular crayon box. So if I wanted blueberry as my color, I could choose that and then click OK. I can change the thickness of the line just by clicking on it. Um, notice that the line still retains its shape regardless of how thick or thin it is. The line style um, can either be solid or it could be dashed and there's a variety of other dashes that are in here. But notice that when it's a medium line where the dashes are, if it's a thin line you'll see more of the dashes and if it's a thick line you'll see fewer of them. I'll go back to a medium line and have a start point. I could have a square and the end point if I wanted to. I could have a circle that's down there. I could do the same also with the uh, other line that I have drawn. But if I wanted to match this color exactly and I forgot exactly what the name was, I can use the eyedropper right here and it will select and match that exact color onto whatever you're pointing on. So now it has matched that exact color. So you don't have to remember what color it was. And again, if I want to uh, just have an arrow on the end and make it a little thicker so I can see everything, I can just have a regular arrow going across. So those are different ways that you can change the line style. Now let's take a look at some different ways that you can change the text style. So I'm going to choose the text tool and down on the pen tray I'm going to click the keyboard and it brings up my keyboard and all I need to do is uh, tap someplace on my page and I'm going to write to it skills and it will type it directly in my text box. I'm going to close my um, keyboard up here and so I have to it skills written in here You'll notice that I do have the handlebars on here and this is now in text editing mode. I'm going to click out of that 
and then choose my arrow select tool and select to its skills and now it is in um, the mode where I can change either the line style and the text style. So the line style in text means that you can change its color. So I've now made it red. I can also make this a little bit larger by going into text style. Let's try that again. In text style, I can change the size. So now it is larger at 36. I can make it bold and I can change the font size into Tahoma. So that's what it looks like now. But let's say I wanted to get very specific with this and change to it skills to different colors so that skills is blue. I cannot do that in the properties tab under textile. It only changes all of the formatting in that text box. If I want to change a specific formatting, I need to go into the text editor. And the way I do that is just double clicking it and it will go from the image marquee select to the text editing when I double click it. So now I can see I'm in text editing, I have the cursor blinking and uh, the marquee select looks a little different on the outside. So if I select the word skills and I change that to blue and make that bold, I can do a variety of different things to that one word in there. I click outside of it, I'm still in arrow select and that is the way that I can change the formatting both in the um, property tab and within the text box. So that is line style and text style. Now it's time for you to get to it.